Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. How is everyone today? I've got a great, another great uh, video for you today, but it's a little bit different. It's not actually a game. Um, it's a service or an API that is helping me. Now, if you've been following myself and following other uh, YouTube streamers on, on, uh, <laughs> on NFT games, you've probably, like myself, you've opened up so many wallets on so many different chains and you're getting a little bit lost. You've got your Ethereum mainnet, you've got your Binance chain, you've probably got your Polygon chain, uh, you may have your Heco or your Wax or your Cardigan chain. Um, so, and, and you've got coin everywhere and you're just losing it. Now, what I stumbled onto is Zapper. Okay, now Zapper isn't the answer to everything today. Um, but I'm super happy with sort of what it comes with so early um, and where they're going with it. So what Zapper does is it's literally taking all your wallets or the wallets that are included um, and therefore it's taking those uh, tokens that you've got and putting them in one place so you can see everything in one place. Now as I said it doesn't cover everything and it doesn't cover every altcoin um, but they're, continue, uh, they're slowly adding. And one of the reasons I've done the video today was five days ago, I put in a quest for Continuum, uh, so UM, UM, and five days later I get an email from the developers that they've added UM for both the Ethereum chain and the Polygon chain. Now, uh, you know what, I, I, I'm super happy that they added the, the currency, thank you very much. Um, but I was completely surprised that it took five days. Now, I'm not saying it will take five days to add your coins, um, but, you know, drop them in there and, and see. So let's go through it itself. So first of all, the chains that are included, and it may interest you, um, and some of these I don't use. I mean, Avalanche, obviously Binance, Celio, Ethereum, Harmony, I do have Harmony. It's a different phantom. So I got confused with that, so it's not phantom on the Harmony chain or, um, and the Polygon. So generally I use Ethereum, Binance and Polygon. Yes, I would like maybe Wax or anything, but I'll show you how to do requests and maybe there's opportunities for them to add those as well. Um, the things that are included, I can actually now look at my wallet and I can see all the assets under my Ethereum, my Polygon and my Binance. Now, there are still a lot of tokens that aren't included but as I can see, and I said today, they added the um uh, after five days. So that's one thing I like. You can drill down individually by just picking on the wallets and have a look at that wallet itself. Um, you can change the currency. Um, so if you don't want it in US dollars, you can change it to the currency of your choosing um, for, for it to convert to. Um, it will even give you your deposits and I'll show you that I deposited uh, some money because of quests probably jumping around a little bit as well but not only do you sign in they have quests so daily sign in is giving you um, giving you vaults and with the vaults you can spend um, to actually get some rewards and we'll do the rewards at the end so you can actually see them as well but you can do your daily reward of simply signing in to get you some volts I've already got uh, 1200 volts and at a thousand volts I can get an NFT um, but I will save it for the end because some of the prices of the NFTs on OpenSea are insane we're insane like so some of the people that have already hit top tier in season two from exchanging, adding liquidity, earning interest. Um, it's like two ETH for some of these NFTs, absolutely insane. Um, so we've got the dashboard we talked about itself. You can exchange, okay? So we can exchange on Binance and you can select the tokens that you want, no difference. It will tell you, oh, I didn't want to go to BNB, let's go to, no, um, let's go to Hero. Um, it will tell you how it's doing the the change. So in this case here, it's going via Dido and via Pancake Swap. Now we're not saying you need to do the exchanges. You can still just use Pancake Swap, and you can still just do your exchanges that way. And obviously, it appears in in the market. But there's probably one thing about yeah what you're comfortable with and what you enjoy uh, swapping it around. Now pools itself. Now if I change to a different currency, it would go through. So if I change, let's say to 
um, let's go back to the here and I change to uh, the polygon network uh, all right we've got there and then we want to do some exchange we're on the matic and let's say we want to get some more um okay we're using jet squat to quick swap to come across so in this case here maybe because using the different exchange routes you may want to just go for it but once again it's also about what the costs and the gas fees I mean you're still talking on Matic uh, 0.02 gas fees so um, yeah do you want to keep on swapping it around or just use the the one simple service to, to go through there a um, couple other things that you've got so you've got the exchanges the pools itself so available pools were on the the polygon network so you can certainly have a look at the pools for myself I had did try to put in there and it's worth certainly comparing and looking at it um, I think one thing uh, I have certainly seen is some of the areas so like if I was in pancake swap or so forth the um, the APR or the APY in some cases is the same or in other cases because you actually get a bonus um, it's up a little bit or the other the other way is you're actually getting more going through the uh, the parent um, uh, pool rather than sort of using the a, uh, the API that they're using because they've linked and partnered into these these uh, uh, pools or these farms and that as well you can just do a, a, a pure save so in this case here it's through AVI um, I did it and it was exactly the same APY at the time when I jumped in there now the reason I just put this little bit in here is a to test it um, but secondly sort of just to also test and get the click uh, the, the quest as well which was you know some more XP and some more volts simply by earning interest um, other things you've in there is got farms uh, volts and bridging um, and I thought the bridging so we don't have a bridging it's there is no bridging from polygon but let's say if I switched over to uh, ethereum um, ethereum to the polygon network if I was going bang and just bringing my ethereum over um, it's there I mean obviously I don't need to bring it on at the moment and I don't know what the gas fees are to be but the choices are is you could go to polygon the, the the polygon site and actually do the bridging there or use uh, any other service that you use for doing your bridging um, or once again it's all here so I find that uh, very useful the other thing with this is obviously jumping into the discord itself they have a really good uh, learning library um, very surprised they spend a lot of time actually creating videos on things like and there's probably one video that I'm going to watch myself like what's the difference between bolts and farms and bolts and pools well, and just to explain it itself I don't know um, but it will be interesting to sort of find out and and how that actually works and, and security and and sort of return and that as well so let's go back to the um, Binance very quickly to bring it all back on um, and it seems to work quite smoothly I haven't had any more problems okay I'm happy with that but there's actually more all your NFTs across your chains are kept in this location so not only that is it's actually sort of showing the net worth I'm not sure how it gets the net worth whether it's from the floor or whether it adds up but you can actually see uh, your NFTs within your portfolios um, which I think is fantastic um, I'm still not seeing the Binance ones and it will be interesting very shortly um, because these NFTs are going to switch over to uh, Polygon very shortly so it will be interesting to know whether they're also capturing the Polygon NFTs um, as well as the Ethereum NFTs um, which is awesome uh, what else we've got uh, the support the discord is actually very good um, the other thing which I sort of missed it itself coming into the wallet itself don't see your asset jump straight back in because you can quickly go over to the roadmap and you can actually request so if your token is not there and this is all I did was I jumped in there I quickly jumped in and typed uh, um whoop too quick um, continuum there you go 
Um, so it's there, it only had three votes and they put it in there. Um, so I've actually gone in and tried to tidy up, let's say, the tokens that I don't have and put them in there. And if you need some upvotes, go to your community. Um, I think it's a great site. Uh, I, I think like every, you go over to here, every week, every month, they're certainly adding new features, they're adding new protocols, they're adding new APIs, adding new tokens. Um, if there's something particularly you want, if you want to add the WAX network, is there a protocol recess or a feature? Um, someone may have already put the, um, the WAX chain as a request in there. Have a look, they've certainly put, there you go, Atomic Wallet has no assets showing on that there. So uh, Atomic, is it Atomic Wallet, is, the, is that the WAX as well? I don't think it is. Um, but Atomic is something that shows all your NFTs and so forth, or where you actually do your purchasing. So have a look at the um, areas that you might see is, uh, uh, that may enhance it. Put in a request. Um, and they're very good, like they obviously they, the bots will send you the email to say that they've got it, saying they're looking at it, saying they're considering it, they haven't rejected it. And as I said, in that case there for the arm, five days later they actually said they approved it and they've actually completed it. Um, for happy. So let's go back to the rewards themselves. So the rewards are NFTs using it. For a thousand, uh, thousand volts and I've got 1200, you can get one of these basic NFTs going along. For 3,000 or for three commons, so actually merging them, you can get yourself a nice little silver NFT. Cute. Um, so it requires three commons. I think you know the gist here. Three commons is going to get yourself, if you want your gold, you want three uh, silvers to get yourself a gold and three golds to get yourself a trophy. And this is how crazy it is. Now obviously I've been here for about a week and I've rounded up my first 1,000. Um, if we just have a look at our silvers. I think you already got, okay. We're just looking at sales. This is a silver. A silver seven days ago sold for 0.3 ETH. Um, I think that's insane. That's insane. Now you are going to need the gas fees to get the money. You're going to need the gas fees to, to merge them. There's probably, I assume, a hundred dollars worth of gas fees, if not more. I haven't done it myself. I will keep on going. I've got one so in two or three weeks, I should have enough for a silver. That's, it seems a little bit crazy. It seems a little bit over the top, but maybe I'm mis, misreading the amounts. But you know what? I'm going to keep updating. And if we'll see it now, if, if we, um, that isn't the reason I'm in here. However, it is an added bonus. Um, using the services, I actually like the services. I'm using the services. I jump in every day. It gives me the update. I get an overall picture of most of it I'm going to use the next month to certainly try and add um, a collection of uh, tokens. I will also look at the other IDOs we've coming up and stay active not only with the community but with this as well. So just a quick video, I hope you liked it. Um, don't hesitate to give the, uh, the thumbs up if you liked it. Um, hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more of sort of Zap or, or anything else um, that, may, uh, that may help you. Put it in the comments below. I do read all the comments below. And if there's anything, any others that you want to see, or if you found another server similar to this one um, that is more encumbersome over more gaming uh, chains, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to check it out myself. All right. Thanks a lot. All right.